Hi, I'm Laurie Brown of Pondercast, and here's a grounding thought for you. Or maybe not. During lockdown, we have been coming to terms with everything that needs to change about the way we live, work, play, about how we take care of each other, young and old, about how we make money, how we spend it. We've all had those moments where the depth of change that is needed is overwhelming. And now, to watch the U.S. blow apart with anger erupting in the streets and seeing police escalate violence, it's looking like end times. And for all the upsetting, horrible violence and upheaval that the news delivers, this is the change we all know we need. This is part of the change you saw coming. But we don't get to pick the form, the shape. We don't get change without disruption and pain. We don't get the change we ache for without joining the oppressed in the fight. Is there any other way? As COVID-19 and racial protest are combusting together, I wish writer Ursula Le Guin was still here. She would write a story to show us what's going on, what could happen, what lessons are to be learned. She's sadly not here anymore. But last night, I had a dream worthy of an Ursula Le Guin plot. In my dream, we found the vaccine for COVID-19. And so everyone everywhere was clamoring to get in line for it. But there was a caveat. To get the vaccine, you also had to take a pill. It was kind of, kind of like the morning after pill. We were told to take it at night, and when we woke up in the morning, we wouldn't be able to see our own faces. And every time we looked in the mirror after that, we would see someone different. A radical little pill. Yes, it was a dream. And believe me, there was a permission form that you had to sign beforehand, and it was a doozy. There was something about being willing to share your identity with anyone, to rid the human race of our ability to distinguish other. There would be no other anymore. And people signed up and people took the pill with the vaccine because if they didn't, they couldn't get an immunity passport and they couldn't travel or work or have access to health services. It was tyrannical. Oh, yes. The next day when we woke up, everything changed. We could suddenly see where absolutely everything in society had been constructed on the idea of other at work, in government, at home, and in this bewildering new world where other and identity fell away. We hugged and kissed and had massive amounts of sex because the vaccine. Yep, there's a science fiction look at massive change for you, but the question is, would you take that pill? To be the change we say we want, what are you willing to do? Now you can dream about that.